Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to see if the K40 CO2 laser can cut paper. Yes, I'm talking plain old paper. Now, I know what you're thinking. Of course this can cut paper, Joe. However, what I'm trying to get at here is I've had several viewers write me and ask me about this. Can I cut regular paper with this? And I'm sure they want to create, like, uh, uh, you know, sculpted paper for greeting cards, things like that. I've never really done just regular 20-pound bond paper. Now, of course, it's going to cut it, but is it going to set it on fire? What's it going to do? That's sort of the big question that we need to see. So I figured I'd put it to the test. So I've got a piece of 20-pound bond paper here. I've actually got it set to its lowest setting where it fires about 3 um, uh, milliamps uh, of power. So really at the low end, I'm going to go at 100 millimeters a second. I'm going to use the Scorchworks K40 Whisper software. And since I've started a new channel on photography, I've decided I, I want to create a little bit of a placard for that. So I'm just going to cut the name out. So I am going to run air on it, about six pounds of air. And uh, as you can kind of hear, everything's running. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, so as we saw, not too much at three. So I'm gonna slow it down uh, to about 50 and see what I get at 50. Now, if you noticed, I don't know if you can tell in the video, there was some smoke, there was some a little bit, uh, but obviously not enough. So let's try it at 50. Actually, this is very interesting. At 50, um, it pretty much um, just etched the paper. Didn't cut the paper. I mean, you can see the image, but paper's not cut. That is, that's actually interesting. So you could etch paper with this at about uh, 50 millimeters per second. What am I at? Yeah, 50 millimeters per second and three milliamps. So this is rather interesting. Um, I, although one of the things when I turned down, since this generated a little bit more smoke, uh, when it turned down, it sort of lifts this edge up. So I need to get a little bit of a magnet to put over here. Okay, so I just threw another neodymium magnet up in that corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now drop to 25 millimeters per second and see what happens. Okay, so we're back, and it's not cut quite all the way through. You could kind of, on some of these letters, push them out. So since I've already actually cut, you know, ran this through several different times, it's sort of an unfair test. But we know because we haven't cut all the way through, 25 is still not good enough. So what I'm going to do is just flip this over, actually, and put the magnets back down on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this down to 10 millimeters a second and see what happens. Okay, <clears throat> clip my throat here. So we can see already some of the pieces popping out. So uh, yeah, pretty much we can weed this and everything's gonna come out. So I think 10 was pretty much the sweet spot uh, for this. So 
you know, actually one of the things where I'm super impressed, now I'm running about six pounds of air on this. I want to get this back in the frame, so. Uh, so I'm running about six pounds of air on this, and there, there really isn't any charring, which is really amazing. So you could easily uh, use this, as my viewer was asking about, uh, to cut... Um, Kind of like, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, sculpted inserts for um, greening cards. Uh, because this actually, this is actually very nice. I'm super impressed. I was expecting to see charring and, you know, nothing's coming off on my finger. Um, so, I, I think pretty impressive. So, yes, you can cut paper. i tell you what, I want to try jumping up uh, to an 80-pound card stock. And let's see what happens with an 80 pound cardstock since we know roughly at 10 uh, millimeters for 20. Let's see what a 20 pound card, or sorry, an 80 pound cardstock does. Pardon this interruption, however, I'm going to break into this video for a second because after I filmed it, I actually was experimenting some more and I came across something that I wanted to share. And one of the pieces that I just accidentally happened to do is I was playing around with to refine some settings and I have this 20 pound bond paper and what I did is actually accidentally place two in the machine at once and when it cut it out what happened is the first copy is perfect I mean I tell you I am super impressed and you know because you see remember the problems I was having with the H's and you'll see more problems with the H's um, this came out perfect and I didn't have to weed anything they just fell out now the second sheet you know it's just just etched on there so uh, if you're looking for a good trick take two pieces of paper put it in your machine cut the top now I did this one at three um, three milliamp years I went back to three milliamp years you'll see me go higher and then I did it at 11 millimeters per second and so anyways Thought that, I thought this was interesting, worth jumping in and sharing, so pardon the interruption, and back to the reg regularly scheduled program. That's easier to think about than it is to say. Okay, I've got some 80-pound cardstock in there, and so I did some rough math, and if 10 was good for 20, I'm calculating approximately 2 should be good for 80. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, well here's the moment of truth. So it did seem to cut it through. And if we look, most of the backside has been cut through. But even at two, it did make a clean cut. And notice I did get some uh, charring here. So let me go ahead and weed this off camera real quick and then I'll come back. So here we are back. I've weeded this out. And again, the H's have been a little bit problematic. The other thing, not really pertaining to the laser power setting, but I would curl these letters a little bit differently to give a little bit more separation. For example, the, a, the R and the A are a little bit too close together. However, this is another good example. One of the things I try to explain to a lot of viewers new to um, uh, you know, laser cutting is the fact of how fast you run your cut. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.